It is now my great honor to introduce you to my mentors, my friends, and my one degree of change, Chuck and Chris Michaels. That is not an easy act to follow. Um, about seven years ago, my wife and I met Angie for the first time. She was a high school uh, student. She was shy, and she had a lot of optimism in her eyes. And to think now, seven years later, she's talking in front of 600 of her closest friends uh, in an amazing speech. What a woman. Thanks so much. So, so Angie's that change agent for her family. She's now put her whole family on another, another plane, another course. You know, she's an inspiration to her siblings, her parents, her children, and her grandchildren. You know, I, I, that she doesn't have yet. <laughs> you know, as I was preparing what to say tonight, I, I thought that every family always has a change agent. You know, Mitch. Uh, Cohen mentioned his grandfather, and uh, I think there's always one person in that family that starts everybody off on a different plane. You know, in, in, in my family, it was my dad. And quite frankly, my dad has a lot in common with a lot of the students that we help in 10,000 Degrees. Uh, uh, my, my dad was born during the Depression. He was born into a family where his father, my grandfather, left the family when he was less than one years old, so he never knew him. He had a very challenged uh, life with his mother so that when you talk to him about it, he would say sometimes he was raised by his mom, sometimes by his grandmom, and sometimes in the foster care system. By 16 or 17, he was living on his own, supporting himself, trying to finish high school, which he did, and then he went to college for a couple of years. Um, college was just too much to, with life going on, and so my dad, after a couple years, had to drop out. But during that time, he met my mom, fell madly in love, as hopefully everybody does at one time in their life, and they got married. Uh, talking to my dad, obviously I wasn't around at that time, talking to him about that time in his life, he said that was some of the best years of his life, but some of the most challenging. He worked two and three jobs just to put enough money on the table to pay the rent and food. Uh, in 1959, they gave birth to my sister, and then I came along in 1962. Um, the things I remember kind of in my early uh, childhood were we had a modest home on Long Island. My dad got up in the morning, he worked, he came home in the evening, and I was basically raised by my mom. When I was 11, my mother died unexpectedly, and, and that changed the course of our lives again. So my dad had to assume the role of mother and father. My sister was my older sister and my mom, and then I had obviously lost my, my mom. I just remember this whole time frame, my dad always being optimistic and telling me and my sister that we were going to college. It wasn't a question of if, we were going to college, and that we could change our own lives if we would just get that college degree. That was kind of the golden ticket to us. So in 1983, my sister and I both graduated on the same day from Arizona State University, and it was probably one of the proudest moments of my dad's life. <laughs> you kind of fast forward a couple of decades, and unfortunately my older sister couldn't be here tonight, but my older sister's oldest child is now a college graduate. Her middle child is graduating in August, and her youngest son is graduating in two years. And Chris and I are so youthful that our kids are so young, but we expect them to be college graduates. So in the course of you know, a few uh, decades, that will be seven college grads from the Michaels family. So you know, my dad was an inspiration to me uh, 
he was not only my dad, but my best friend, my confidant, my mentor, my biggest cheerleader. Um, as some of my close friends who are here tonight sharing this moment with me, my, my dad became ill a couple of years ago. At my wife's suggestion, we moved him out to Marin, and I got to see him every day, or almost every day, for the last number of months of his life, where he passed away in November. My wife and I believe so much in what my dad believed in, which is giving everybody an opportunity and giving an education that tonight, in my father's honor, we are very proud to donate a half a million dollars to 10,000 Degrees. Thank you. We, we hope by donating these funds that it won't be just seven college grads that my father helped inspire, that it will be tens and hundreds of college grads. And so to the students in the room, I'm passing that challenge to you so that my father's memory and what he believed in will live in you. Thank you very much.